Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, it's actually very close to the end of the month, and this is maybe the, the latest I've ever done one of these, but that was for a good reason. I'm going to talk about the upcoming events that are, in theory, coming out in April. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can always leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it helps out the channel a whole bunch. Now let's go right into it. So what's going on in April? Well, first of all, let's take a look at what's currently going on over on the US side, because as you can see here, Sea Monster Crisis on Japan uh, happened on April 6th, and that is currently not April 6th. <laughs> it is March 29th as of the recording of this, so it should be the 30th. So right now we got Monster Water Crisis, and this will go from the 29th to the 18th. And along with that, we have the Lost Belt 2 campaign, which will end on the 31st. Um, along with the Fake Grand Order user survey, which this ends on the April 29th, so it's going to be here for a very long time. And then the 2024 support com uh, support campaign, new Master Support campaign, which will last until April 25th, 25th as well. And now we can actually go into what's coming up in April. But that's currently what's going on. Um, so first things first, like every year, there's going to be an April Fool's Day event. Ours is going to be different than the JP version. On JP this year, two years ago, they got Pixel Wars, which was like, I'm not 100% sure because I did not play the JP version of it. But it's like it was like a weird little game. I'm not going to go into too many details of it because we're just straight up not getting this. We have almost never gone in their April Fool's Day thing because Japan goes crazy. Like, they make their own app and everything for it for the JP side. Now, on the NA side, we do get our own thing, but it's typically something in a little bit smaller nature. But I think it's still cool. Like, for example, last year, you can see here, we got the Quiz Battle Master. And that was a really fun little thing. And one time we got pinball, and I really like that pinball one. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they got in store for April. This is actually kind of fun because it's one of the very few things where it's like we actually legitimately just don't know what they're going to do on April 1st. So it'll be kind of, uh, all we know is that similar to Pixel Wars, we'll get 10 Saint Quartz. And that's about as far as it goes. But yeah, you can see here, they go kind of crazy on the JP version. <laughs> Their things are very different. From ours, they're like their own little app and games things. And then, funny enough, there was a returnee login bonus for this as well. Which I'm wondering if that will actually come over. So, a returnee's login bonus, login duration from April 1st to April 20th, must be logged into the game from March 1st to March 31st. Must have cleared Fuki. If players have broken a login streak, they will have to restart the login. Total returnee reward. So, if you're returning, 36 squirts in total, 14,000 friend points, 16 EXP and 16 golden apples if you're returning to the game at this moment just make sure you don't um this is for for go right i'm <laughs> pretty positive it's a little bit weird but yeah i'm pretty positive this was for the for go app so i don't know if we're gonna get that but i'll be interested to see if we do but yeah april fools looking forward to it i uh, hope it's something really cool like it is last year uh, last time so yeah sea monster crisis over in japan didn't happen until april 6th so it got moved forward a week from when the event started, which would it be on... I mean, technically this started on the 29th, but I think it would be the 28th. So on the 4th, we should be getting... The reason is, is that, as you can see here, this started on April 6th. And then a week later, it the Morgan banner showed up. So if we follow that same logic, it went on the 28th. I think it would be on the 4th. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how right or wrong I'm in. Sometimes I can get a little bit wrong with some of the dates, but I'm pretty sure it starts from when maintenance began, so therefore it should be this. But anyway, we'll get a Morgan banner featuring Morgan and Woosatown on it. Uh, for all the big Woosatown fans, this is your chance to get her. And for everyone else, here's your chance to get Morgan. If you don't already have her, if you're looking for more NP copies, it's Morgan. Morgan is a super popular character. People are going to be going for her. She's also a very good berserker. Both in terms of being able to be used on AoE as a weird kind of support unit, as someone you can use in challenge quests. It, literally, Morgan can do so many things. <laughs> she is a, an amazing berserker. Not the strongest, in the sense of if you want raw power and all you're looking for is just nothing but like, yo, I just want this bad boy to deal 2 million somehow, that's Arjuna Alter. But if you want a berserker that wants to do anything besides that, you go to Morgan. So that'll be fun. I 
can't wait. I'm. Uh, thank God for me, I was able to get Morgan on her first banner. I was planning to summon on this if I did not get Morgan the first go around, but thankfully for me, that didn't have to work out. That, it didn't work out that way. So there we go. That will be again a week after Sea Monster Crisis begins. Advanced Quest Part Four, which in Japan happened on my birthday, April twentieth. That's right, my birthday is actually legitimately four twenty. Um, the advanced quest for this one will be. One where you can get, looks like, Proof of Heroes. I'm trying to look down to see which ones I'm going to get. Maw the Barbaric Dragon, Record of Heroes, and the Crystal Cavity of Red Soil, which is one will draw up Dragon Fangs, the other one, Heroes Proof, and the other one, the Octopulent Twin Crystals. Just like all the other ones, there's no expiration on this. You can attempt it as much times as you want from February 28th, uh, which would be when this launch. You can repeat advanced quests as many times as you want. Clear rewards are attainable for the first time. Clear, so cool. Um, yeah, I would suggest it be the same. So there you go. If you want a proof CE, a crystal CE, or a fang CE, you'll be able to get that and get it there. Next, the Fago uh, Learning with Manga Collaboration pre-release campaign will begin. Here we go, here's the main campaign to get us started for the collab that should be coming near the end of the month. But based off of the way that NA has been doing this, it would probably be closer somewhere to the middle. Um, i will be kind of interested to see how they kind of do this. It's something to talk about near the end, but I think this is likely not going to be near the end of April, but closer to the middle. Probably, hopefully around my birthday, but we'll see. A login bonus will be there from April 21st to the May 5th is when it happened on JP. Uh, you would have to clear Fuyuki to get it. On the first login, it's a silver apple, then a golden apple, then it's a St. Quartz, and then it's a silver, then it's a gold, a St. Quartz, and another St. Quartz. For a total of, that's right, three St. Quartz, two golden apples, and two silver apples. Oh, th so, what better way to get ready for a collab? <laughs> Then two golden apples, two silver apples, and a total of three St. Quartz to do a single summon. Let's go. Other campaigns, all Ember quests will be one half AP, two times chance to get super and great suck when strengthening servants, two times friend points when using servants, a servant strengthening quest will be half AP, and interludes will be half AP. So if you are somehow holding on to a lot of that EXP that you got from the lotto, this is your chance to use them. The applicable servants will be any that are from the Fago Learning with Manga collab collaboration. So Astolfo, Attila, basically anyone that has ever been in the Learning with Manga um, manga in any capacity or are involved in the event in some way. Uh, I'm pretty sure Vitra didn't really from... So it has to be. Some of these are definitely like, oh yeah, Astolfo, big mainstay of the of the manga. Helena, big mainstay. Tamamo, Attila, or Altera, however you want to say it. Uh, Elizabeth, all of them make sense, but then some of these seems are like likely to be like Yang, I think is someone who's probably related to the event and not actually from the learning with manga. Edison, of course, he's uh, has a joke in there from being hated by uh, writer, the read the Rio writer. And then the Da Vinci workshop, Bunny Bunyan will be there. That's right, One of, this is maybe one of my favorite uh, costume dresses, and it's not because I have a bias in a level 100 bunion. <laughs> it's because I think it's a genuinely very cute costume. Uh, you can get Paul Bunyan's costume dress, the Mad Bunny, on permits after you've cleared E. Plurbilis Innum, which is the America Singularity. It's free, but if you want to get it early, meaning as soon as you can get it available to you, you get it, which I don't blame you. You can exchange it for five, and then when you clear the America Singularity where Maeve takes down all the American presidents, you'll get five mana prisms back. Easy, easy get. Then, some other stuff. The Learning with Manga Volume 2 quest. This will come with it. The Learning with Manga Volume 2 quest permit. This will be free if you cleared the America Singularity, like I said before. To get this unlocked, you just need to have cleared Fuyuki. Exchange it, you'll get the Amazing Craft Essence, which is the sexy pinup. Uh, here it is, Mash during her uh, fan service girl arc in the fate. I think there's a, like a, the, a running joke of like, yes, it's me, and then Rio does it, and it's very funny. But anyway, you can get it that way. And who wouldn't want this uh, amazing pin up here? <laughs> Just absolutely astonishing. All the statesmen free access, which is I believe where you get Bunyan. Um, all the Statesman quests will be unlocked for players who have cleared the America Singularity. In case you have exchanged for the quest in the past, you get five rare mana prisms. 
Um, previously, these quests could be unlocked with four or five rare mana prisms. However, as for Go, learning with manga collaboration pre-release campaign update, if you have cleared uh, um, the America Singularity, then you'll be refunded five mana prisms that easy. It is now free. And this is where you can get Bunyan and learn a little bit about Bunyan. Will you ever learn why she's not um, the male Paul Bunyan? Not really. But <laughs> it's still a very fun little thing. It does help Altera a whole bunch of like a bunch of different versions. Like I think she's here as Buffalo Bill, and then like Texas is something else, I believe. It's a very Davy Crockett. She does show up as Davy Crockett, the goddess of Columbia. She shows up as that, I believe. Um, and this is also where that super messed up picture of the Rio Gouda shows up. And she also lays on the Mash asks the question, "What happened to Rio Mash?" Who knows? We'll find out here. I don't know if it actually does take if, if it's 100% Rio Gouda in that one. If this is gonna be, this makes no sense if you've not seen it. But I feel like it's probably two different masters at that point. You know, timelines are funky like that. Let me feel free to tell me your theory on this. But I've always assumed it was not actually the Rio Gouda from the actual Learning with Manga, but a different variation of one that probably actually legitimately lost at least that's what i'm getting from what mash says one where they went there was no mash there to stop them from going into their lazy tendencies which they do have in the uh, manga and they talk about it but maybe i'm putting more thought into this than the actual writer did <laughs> let's see anyway here's a summoning campaign that will be related to it and this will feature so many people we got tamamo summer tamamo stealtho samer uh, da Vinci. Oh, yeah, Da Vinci. You know who wants that. Yeah, Da Vinci's back. Mike's happy. You even got a regular Da Vinci, which he's never met, uh, which is Leonardo Da Vinci, the caster version. Summer Helena, Summer Anne Bonnie, and Mary Reed. Summer. Oh, shit. Summer Marie Antoinette. <laughs> If you don't know, uh, the reason I have Summer Saber at MP5 is that I was attempting to get my final copy of Summer Marie, and I've never been able to actually go for Summer Marie ever again, because usually she's on the banner with Summer Saber, and I don't want to get MP6 a Summer Saber, so I've never been able to summon for her again. I did not realize that she sh Who is she paired up with? Da Vinci? Man, goddamn, I did not know that Marie... For a part of me, you should not be, you probably should not be summoning. If you're going to summon, you should be summoning for Leonardo da Vinci. Summer Marie Antoinette is not a good unit. But she is, She does have a deep history here with me, of me wanting to get her MP5. And me being, me failing to get it. It's always bothered me that she's MP4. This might be the only chance I get of actually potentially getting her to MP5 and not just wasting a limited ticket on her somewhere down the line. But either way, that's the banner order. If you want to know who goes first, it's going to be Tamamo and Helena. And then after them, Astelfo and Astelfo. And then it's going to be bon and Mary uh, and Bonnie and Mary Reed along with Da Vinci, uh, Lily. And then we have uh, adult Da Vinci with um, Marie Antoinette. That's how it's going to look like. And there will be also limited craft essence, which I believe are all the New Year's Rio uh, CEs, where you can get a chance to get them again. So you can get pl <laughs> plus 2020. Ours are actually slightly better because they had to change the QP amount. So <laughs> this one, for example, this one says QP up 2022, but it's for us, I believe it's 2024, which is the one based off of maximum overdrive, everyone's favorite. Um, Stephen King novel and book. Have you ever seen the movie version of Maximum Overdrive? A man gets hit in the nuts with a uh, can of soda. Huh? <laughs> I highly recommend it. Next, Servant Strengthening. Uh, Altera will get a natural body EX turn into perfect construct. Tamamo Summer will get Goddess Metamorphosis, Goddess Metamorphosis turned into Goddess Metamorphosis, Goddess Metamorphosis Sky, A rank. Uh, the 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 pirates over here will get Treasure uh, Treasure Hunt Oceans from C to A. As, ooh, I didn't know Helena get one. Uh, Summer Helena will go from B plus to B plus plus on her uh, Noble Phantasm, and then the uh, regular version of the pirates will also get a buff, which is all very nice. I had actually forgotten about a lot of these. That's cool. I can't wait for that. 
And there will be a broadcast, and I think this broadcast will result in us getting some sync warts, as we always do. And yeah, that's the Learning With Manga pre-release campaign. In terms of the actual event itself now, there'll be a Fago Unite. You know, before we can get to that, we'll talk about the Fago Arcade Unite, which I don't think... I don't remember if... And so this is weird, because... Um, so, in Fago Arcade, around this time, they fought against Lilum Harlot. There was, like, a, a raid battle. And then they gave everyone 10 tank quartz, but now I don't remember if we actually got this on NA side. We can't do this on NA side, because we never got Fago Arcade. So now this actually brings up to the question, how the hell are they going to justify Lilum Harlem, uh, Harlot? Huh. Never actually thought about that. Huh. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> That's a little unfortunate. But this is what happens when you give Arcade a little Harlot for the first time. I think we'll probably get some equivalent of 10 sync cues from this if we didn't already get it. You, you can feel free to tell me on this one because if we got this, we would have likely have gotten it two years ago. And I don't think we would have gotten it two years ago. Let me check, actually. I can go back in time right here. So this is 2022 in April. Yeah, nothing related to that. Uh, maybe they'll put it in with the Easter campaign? No, because Easter is coming up already. So it wouldn't make sense to give that to the Easter campaign. They'll figure out some way to give us the 10 quarts. Don't worry about it. Finally, Learning with Manga, uh, Manga Volume 3 campaign release. This will come out. Uh, I don't think we get these either. We do get them officially translated, but I don't think we, they sell them in the actual physical, physical book. Because if they did, I would have it. Um... I don't have it, so therefore I think they don't have it. <laughs> but we can get at least this learning with Manga CE, which we hear we can have C Bunyan with um, Rio Assassin and Rio Rider over there. And then you can just get this by clearing this uh, this um, this fight right here, which shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, not at all. You just gotta fight. Yeah, the Chibi Kingdom right here, Nursery Rhyme Jack and Bunyan. Perfect, easy. And then finally, the thing that in theory. I think will actually happen closer to April 20th than actual. Currently, it looks like we're about a week ahead on the JP timeline. So I would assume this would actually happen on April 20th. And this happens a week before April 20th. All this stuff that you see here would happen actually on, let me see, April 13th maybe? That's my current guess. Just like this will likely happen on... April 4th. Let me see. I can actually do the full thing. So this release here, this would be April 4th. And then seven days later, this would be April 11th. So yeah, it would be pretty close to April 20th. April 18th would be the time that this Bunyan thing would happen if they keep keep with the current timeline that they got going on right here. So let's look inside the Fago Learning with Manga collaboration. This is the only collab where I will not pronounce the X because that's how much I love Learning with Manga. I was the only one, one of the very few people, me, it's like me and my brother and a friend of ours common who were just like, yeah, learning with manga. Everyone else threw a hissy fit the second that this was announced. And you know what? Cry more about it. I don't care. <laughs> I win in this case. And I'm happy to have it. So here's the learning with manga collaboration. All you need to do is clear Fuyuki. Very easy. In terms of the event itself, I usually don't look at what the event will be, and for this one, I especially don't look what it is, but the unit that's going to be featured on it is going to be Super Bunyan and Daiki Koten, which is uh, Ryo's caster. And Mary Anning will be a free-to-play unit who is Ryo Lancer. She's a free-to-play unit, kind of, in the sense that you're going to be doing friend point summons. So I hope that you have a bunch of friend point summons left over from Lotto and you did not burn them trying to go for... Um trying to look for a certain hidden servant in the friend point banner because this would be your best time to actually use them because mary anning is going to be inside there and this is she's limited to specifically these type of events only <laughs> so there you go that's the stuff that's coming with the fago learning with manga collaboration i probably am going to cut a lot of that i just realized because <laughs> It was enough to say, this is when you can expect it to come in. I should have saved a lot of that for the actual video when it comes out. I just realized it. But just a quick look at it. The important things to realize here is that you just need to know that it comes out uh, when it comes out. And all you need to have with it is to clear Fuyuki. And if you want to do the challenge quest, you have to have cleared the epilogue and Solomon to actually do it. 
And then finally, that is looking like the end of April. But like I said, if this is happening when I think it's happening, that means that this event would, in theory, end close to the end of May. So that would be the next thing would be... Just slightly ahead of it would be... Um, this Castoria 25 million downloads. There's a chance that this for this download that Castoria could show up and she could actually be near the end of April. So something to kind of keep in mind. As you can see here, like this doesn't happen into May. This is the first May event and it doesn't happen until 11 days into May. And I feel like that's not what they're going to be doing for this. This is either going to be an early, early May thing or, or late April kind of thing. And then they'll go into the actual thing to kind of go in here. But this is something to deal with when we get there, basically. May looks kind of like dead comparatively, but that's because there's not much to do as we wait for... Because uh, it's all building up to Trom. Which, in theory, this says June 1st. This would have to happen at the end of May. Um, and yeah, that's what it's looking like for April. Something else to kind of keep in mind, the reason why I actually waited for a long bit wasn't just because it was... Uh, because work had me busy the other reason is because i was waiting to see if they were going to do an update to the roadmap so on the roadmap you can see here they kind of give you a better idea of when certain events will happen so battle in new york mid-march water monster crisis march 2024 now you would assume the next thing that they would talk about is the learning with manga campaign that's not what they talk about next they talk about next is the the nanmei yumihara eight dog chronicles which happens in june so i was thinking Yo, there's a giant ass gap between <laughs> March and June because uh, currently we're in March and June doesn't happen for another three months because you have to go through April. Actually, well, I guess we will be in April. We'll go through April, May, and then June. There's no way that they would just kind of keep it like that. That's weird. That's weird that they wouldn't even bring up Bunyan or anything. Mm, but yeah, this says early June and I think if we look here... You can see that that's late June, so there's a big pushing in terms of things coming out way faster. This did not happen until late June. I would not be surprised if a lot of this stuff just came out way earlier. Trom comes out way earlier. The Holy Grail front might not even be in June, honestly. It might still be in May. Like, it's kind of crazy how quick they're kind of going through, and the reason is, is I think, is because they have to get a lot of this stuff in before our anniversary because you can see here in japan their anniversary is in july ours is not in july ours is uh, whenever anime expo happens so ours is i think actually in june i think if i remember correctly i guess i'm not remembering correctly yes i am here it is it's end of june so they had until july so we have to get to because of the GSSR, we have to kind of get to certain units before then. And I think the last big unit that releases is actually her. So if this releases on June 29th, that means that at the end of this month is when the Fugo anniversary happens. So that means, man, that's going to be a real pain in the ass for anyone there. But that also means that some of these events don't have to happen. The ones that actually matter that do have to happen are for brand new units. Because you can see here, the reason is, is because... Doi, 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 doi. Lucky bag summoning. We need all these units that are on the lucky bag. If there's a single unit missing from this lucky bag, people will throw a fucking fit. Which, fair enough, they should. So something to kind of keep in mind gonna be kind of a crazy uh, month as we get closer to summer and we get closer to anniversary and we get closer to our archetype earth being released it's gonna be a hell in a hand basket coming up but there you go that's what's coming up for april and a quick look into what's coming up in the future as well <laughs> so thank you very much for watching like i said at the beginning of the video if you made it all the way to the end thank you very much uh i appreciate it a whole bunch i'm looking forward to a lot of stuff in april not just because it's my birthday, but also I hope that uh, I really am a big fan of learning with manga. It's one of my favorites. Like I, I'm not sure if I cut it or not, just because I have to cut a large second segment of that learning with manga stuff. Because I realize, like, yo, I'm spending way much, too much time on this, and it's like it's because I just want to actually talk about the event. I'm a big fan of learning with manga, so and a big fan of Super Bunyan. And so far, I have missed out on every single unit. The only new unit I've gotten so far in the entire year has been pretender and that was not on her banner 
It was on the banner that came afterwards. <laughs> so I've effectively missed every single chance I've ever tried, I've ever taken with a banner. So I'm hoping that for Bunyan, the birthday luck will be there, and it will be the start of some good luck coming forward. But who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. I'll see you guys later. <coughs> oh, I accidentally swallowed something. I will talk to you guys later. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Have a good night. Peace out. Bye.